today we are gonna be doing a Tom and Jerry build challenge, but I am secretly using cheats to troll my friend. Using the slash slash paste command, I can instantly spawn in Tom from Tom and Jerry. So now let's go check on my friend Koi. Today we're gonna be doing a Tom and Jerry build challenge. Really? I love Tom and Jerry. Yeah, I love Tom and Jerry too, Koi. In this dispenser right here, whenever I click this button, whoever I get first is who I'm gonna build, and whoever is last is what you get to build. All right, let's see what we get. Come on, come on. What'd you get? Oh, I got Tom. Let's see what I get. Well, it's pretty obvious, I guess. I got Jerry. Yep. Uh, it's time to build Tom and Jerry, Koi. We have 20 minutes. 20 minutes? All right. Well, good luck, Shiny. Hey, wow. You're really, uh, you're really mature in today's episode, Koi, but hey, good luck. Hey, good, good, good luck, man. All right, Koi can't hear us anymore. I don't really know what got into him. He's been feeling a little bit different lately. And using this stick in my hand, I can spawn in Tom and Jerry. All right, so I'm gonna paste down Tom and Jerry right here. And oh my gosh, he's being added to Minecraft as we speak. All right, so I just finally pasted down Tom and he is a lot taller than Koi build. I do think Koi went AFK to use the bathroom real quick. So by typing this command in chat, I can make the wall a lot taller. Oh, good thing Koi didn't get back from the bathroom yet because he would have definitely seen that I cheated and just straight up pasted this build down. So the first idea that I have with Tom is I want to make a real entrance and a fake entrance. And I'm going to make the fake entrance in the most obvious area so Koi falls right for it. I'm going to fill this fake entrance up with a bunch of traps for Koi to go through. But to start everything off, first off, I need to change all of these to diamond blocks because as we know, Koi loves diamonds. As we all know, Koi loves diamond blocks, so I'm gonna make the entrance out of that to really lure him in. I'm gonna make the fake entrance as obvious as possible, so I'm just gonna put two doors right here. And I'm just gonna put some signs down that say cats are better than dogs right over the entrance, so Koi's gonna get really angry. I hope it doesn't lower his rating of my bill at the end, though. I guess I'm gonna turn his entire mouth into a diamond hallway, so Koi might forget about the sign that I put down, and he'll like my build a lot more. But in order to do that, I'm gonna have to put diamond blocks all over the place. All right, so the first trap I want to do with this build is I want to turn this entire room into a huge parkour. So in order to do that, I'm going to have to make the floor a bunch of diamond blocks, and then I'm going to have to put... And then I'm gonna have to put a bunch of lava everywhere. And then I'm gonna add a few more things after to the parkour. And then I'm gonna add a few things after to the parkour to really spice it up and make it really difficult for Koi to finish. All right, so I just built a little bit of this parkour so I can kind of get a feel for the room size a little bit. Now I'm gonna put diamond blocks on the rest of the wall. Okay, so now that I've basically replaced the entire parkour room with diamond blocks, I'm gonna start working on this parkour so he can get to the exit, which is gonna be right over there. But what he doesn't know is it's just gonna lead to even more traps. So before I finish making this parkour, I actually do wanna set the floor to lava. So whenever Koi does the parkour and he fails, it's not gonna be pretty. So whenever Koi starts this jump, he's just gonna go right up here and then the actual parkour is gonna start. But this parkour is going to be pretty difficult because the entirety of it is going to be head hitters. Good luck, fam. So if I do a little snake pattern like this, it's going to be really, really difficult for Koi to get through all of them in one try. But if he manages to do it, I'm going to be pretty impressed. I closed off that exit and I'm actually going to move it over here because this is actually a pretty good room to put traps in. All right, so, so at the very end of this parkour, what I actually want to do is I'm going to trick Koi. I'm going to make this block right here a fake block because this is the one he's going to tend to want to go to, but it is possible to make a diagonal one. So if Koi jumps on this block, I'm sorry, Koi. It's not gonna be good. But if he manages to get over here, he's gonna be rewarded with a chest full of good items. With these items, they're actually gonna be pretty useful later on in this video once he has to fight a super OP mob that I'm gonna put down. But he's gonna have to get to that point first. He can't fight it just yet. All right, so before Koi actually has to fight all those crazy mobs, he's gonna have to do something that involves a really long fall. And for longtime viewers on my channel now, you guys know it's gonna be a dropper so i'm gonna start pacing it down all right so i just realized that i'm building a dropper and i just gave koi full diamond gear so i'm gonna have to take all that diamond gear out real quick and i'm gonna have to do that right after the dropper Ooh, that could have been really bad but here we go i made this entire dropper out of diamond blocks because i know koi's gonna love that all right so i'm gonna finish up the dropper just like that and oh my gosh there we go i finished the outline for the dropper now and you may be thinking oh how is he just gonna put a bunch of blocks in here it's not even really that much of a square and well i'm actually gonna make this out of lasers instead so it's gonna be a lot harder all right i'm just placing a bunch of lasers down here and honestly it's starting to look really crazy all right so i think i placed down enough lasers for koi to dodge but it's definitely gonna be pretty difficult 
And McCoy starts falling. He's going to have to dodge these obstacles right there. Just like that. And wow, that's going to be really difficult. I'm not going to lie. I'm actually going to split it just like this. And Koi is going to have to guess which side is the real water. So I'm going to split this side into two different sections. But one of the sections is going to have fake water. So basically how I'm going to do that is if I type this command in chat, I got these barriers and I'm just going to put a couple barrier blocks right over the water. And whenever you're not holding the barrier block, you can't even tell. Oh my gosh, Koi is definitely going to fall for this. To do is he's going to have to go on the right side, which is actually a little bit harder. He just has to fall in between all of them and land right here. And uh, well, yeah, he'd be safe. And right here is where I'm going to actually reward him with the chest from earlier. And I'm also going to put a command block and a diamond block right above it with a pressure plate. So whenever Koi steps on the command block, it's going to teleport him to an entirely different room. But before he goes into that special room, I'm going to have to give him his full set of diamond armor. And wait, where did it go? Well, it looks like I have to give myself some more. I guess you can never have too much diamond armor in this game, huh? And you know what? I'll put on some boots for myself because huh, there's a lot of rocks on the floor. You know, my feet kind of hurt. But anyways... Koi's gonna get this full set of diamond armor and a diamond sword. Also, keep in mind, this is all just the fake entrance. Basically, what I wanna do is I want Koi to get this full set of diamond gear. So whenever he goes into my real entrance, which this is where the pressure plate will kind of take him, it's just gonna take him right back outside. So my real entrance is gonna have a crazy amount of mobs he's gonna have to fight. And it's just gonna be really dangerous overall with the amount of traps I'm gonna put down. But so I wanted to get him geared up before he actually walks into the real battle. If you were wondering where the command block would teleport you, it's going to teleport him really high in the air here. And he's going to fall right into this. He's going to fall right into this giant square of water here. And all of the fish in here are going to be named Shiny's cat. So Koi is going to be really, really confused because uh, clearly these aren't cats. But hey, who knows? Koi might think they are. And now that the entire fake entrance is built, all I have to do is go over to the command block and type in those chords. So by typing... So by typing this command in the command block, now whenever someone steps on it, we're going to be teleported really high into the sky on that area. Just like this. Boom. We're going to land right into that pool of water and yeah, uh, hopefully Koi's not scared of heights. I hope he's not. Hmm. Where do I want to put the real entrance? And all Koi's going to be left with is a full set of diamond armor, I guess. So hopefully he doesn't find the fake entrance first or else I guess he won't have any armor. Hmm. Where do I want to put the real entrance though? What I think I'm going to do is I'm actually going to use a bunch of fake blocks. So Koi definitely does not find the real entrance first, but he's going to find it eventually. Hmm. Where could I put this? You know what? I could put it directly right here on his stomach so it would fit in perfectly and oh my gosh i can see the dropper all i gotta do is put these clay blocks right here to replace the fake blocks and there we go koi will not even notice and this real entrance is gonna be crazy i'm gonna make it out of orange this time because i kind of feel left out out here you know i can't always please koi i want to i want to be happy too so what this room is gonna be is it's gonna be a giant trivia room but whenever Koi gets a question wrong, he's going to fall into a trap full of a bunch of monsters he's going to have to fight, which is why he needs the full diamond armor so badly. Just like this, I'm going to put a couple commands down to make the room completely orange. But I also do need to put a couple lights in here because bats are going to spawn everywhere. Next, what I want to do is I want to split the room into a couple of sections for trivia. I'm going to kind of make this out of quartz blocks because quartz look really fancy. I'm not going to lie. But there will still be orange everywhere. So you know what? Everything's all right. Oh, man, my orange skin in this orange box looks so good. But oh, I can't get sidetracked. I think I only have like 10 minutes left. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give myself another command block and I'm actually going to use this entire area. So whenever Koi falls down, I'm actually going to have him land into a bunch of pressure plates, which are going to teleport him into a room with a bunch of mobs. So let's hope Koi doesn't get any of these wrong. All right, so I set up this entire area for Koi to start answering questions completely wrong. Because let's be honest, is Koi really that smart? So now that I have this entire trivia place set up, I can actually start putting the real questions down. So on the left side, so the first question I want to ask, so he's going to go into this trivia, and the first thing he's going to see is how many planets are there. And if he gets it wrong, well, he's going to be teleported to a really crazy room. So I'm going to make the left side the correct side, but the right side is going to be the incorrect one. So this is the correct side, which is the number eight. But Koi, let's be honest, he's probably going to guess 11. Let's be real. But if he goes on this side, he's going to be right and he's going to be safe for another day. The next question I want to ask is actually going to be a trick question. It's just going to say, what is my favorite number? And obviously Koi's not going to know what my favorite number is. Like that's such a random thing to know of someone. So now what I have to do is I'm going to have to set up the actual place where Koi's going to be teleported to whenever he steps on one of these pressure plates. 
So I guess it's time to get building. So I'm looking around on the inside of Tom and Jerry here, and I have a lot of room to work with. I'm not gonna lie. So I want Koi to be teleported to a huge room with a bunch of mobs he's gonna have to fight because it's just gonna be crazy. And if Koi does manage to survive it, I'm gonna let him. I'm gonna let him rate my build and I'll uh, let him go home. <clears throat> anyway, so I guess I gotta get started on building the actual room. I think I'm gonna make it out of glowstone. First off, glowstone looks really cool, but at the same time, I don't want a bunch of random mobs to spawn because if mobs keep on spawning, then I don't know how Koi's gonna stop fighting him. So I'm actually gonna start building this room on his leg because that area does not have nearly enough room. Doing some quick commands just like this. I can type that in chat and here we go. I have a huge glowstone box now for Koi to fight in. And wow, this place looks crazy. I'm not gonna lie. Here we go. We have a weird unsymmetrical glowstone box for Koi to fight in now. And wow, this kind of hurts my eyes. Now I can actually start adding a little bit of life to this place. Holy, this would be really hard to see. And But yeah, I have this room right here. Now it's time to get to brainstorming of what I want to spawn. Mm, what mob should I put? Wait, what is that chat message? You're not winning against me, Shiny. Okay, Koi. Yeah, you know what? No, uh, hold on. Hold up on this thought. I gotta go check on what... I gotta go check on... Let's see what Koi is building. There's no way his build is better than this. Like, what? So first things first, you already know I'm gonna have to drink a potion of Invis. So I'm gonna peek over this side with Invis and what the... There's no way Koi built all of this. Honestly, I feel like Koi is cheating. There's no way he built this. We still have like six minutes left. And wait, oh my gosh, wait, that means I have to be quick. Also, at the bottom of Jerry here, there is a staircase which leads to a pressure plate. Oh gosh, here we go. What the? What is this place? This looks like some type of elytra parkour course or something. And wait, oh my gosh, I see Koi's gamer tag through the wall. Okay, I gotta be stealthy here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna break two blocks right here and I'm actually gonna replace them with fake blocks so I can walk through it and Koi won't notice it. Oh my gosh. What does he think he's gonna do with this entire place with six minutes left? Oh my gosh, Koi's getting really close here. This is really risky. He actually thinks I'm not gonna win this. What in the world? What I wanna do though is I actually wanna rig this for myself. Oh my gosh, what is this room up here? I'm definitely gonna rig this room. Is I'm gonna replace all of these little pockets of air with barrier blocks. So he's gonna be so confused on how I'm just walking over everything. But I am gonna have to jump over these lasers though. So here we go. I'm putting barrier blocks all over these little patches in the floor. All right. Oh my gosh. I think I'm almost done putting all the holes down. Almost fell in lava there. That could have been bad. Most of these holes have been patched up with the barrier blocks. Wow. I actually don't know how confused Koi is going to be when this happens. But here we go on the last couple blocks. Just like that, I have put barrier blocks on every single hole in the ground. So now I got to quickly leave this place before Koi sees me. All right. Bye bye, Koi. That was actually a successful sabotage. But yeah, I really got to hurry by flying back into my build here. All right. I need to quickly go into my entrance of Tom and Jerry here. I only have a couple of minutes left. And okay, I'm back in this room. All right, I finally got all of that side work business done. Now I can finally start in the room with the last couple of minutes left. So first things first, I'm gonna get an anvil and some name tags. All right, what mob should I spawn? Hmm, I was thinking about it earlier. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put down a bunch of these wolves down and no way Koi survives this. So here we go. Well, uh, I think I got all of them. So yeah, I'm definitely just gonna leave this room here. Oh uh, yeah. Whenever Koi kills all of those things in there, I'm gonna let him come over here where he's just gonna walk right out. And yeah, just like this, he's gonna have to grab one of these water buckets and he's gonna have to jump and he's gonna have to MLG clutch either on Tom and Jerry's shoe or on the grass right here. And all right, I guess I'm basically done with my build now. I'm not gonna lie. I don't think Koi's gonna be able to beat me. I don't think Koi's gonna be able to beat me in terms of how awesome my build is and how many cool traps I put in mine also. So yeah, I'm gonna go hop right back into a call with Koi and see how he's doing. All right, Koi, I'm done with my build. Are you finished with yours? I am definitely ready, Shiny. All right, Koi, let's meet up at the dispenser. All right. Hello, Koi. Hey, how's it going? What's what, what's that in your hand? Oh, it's a, it's a sword in case um in case you think your build is better than mine but yeah uh anyways koi whose build do you want to see oh i'm so confident in mine let's see mine first oh my gosh it already looks huge from what i can see but yeah let's go see yours i'm gonna look down all right three two one go what this this build is so big i totally haven't seen it before holy crap yeah bro i mean you know when i'm given 25 minutes instead of five i i go crazy man yeah i mean this ear alone would take me like i mean it would take me like 10 seconds but for most people it would take like five 
five minutes. Yeah, yeah, it really would. But now you got to find the entrance. Oh, no, this build is huge. How am I going to find the entrance? Uh, that's for you to find out. Oh, I think I found the right entrance, Koi. Oh, man. All right, let's see what's here. I wonder where I'm going to go. Uh, whoa, this place is crazy. <laughs> Welcome. Thank you. And what is this? You know, this place, it's it's where you got to do your challenges, man. You know, just look at this chest right here. Challenges? Uh, oh, my gosh, I was right. But you got to do this Elytra parkour. Let's go. All you right, got this, Shiny. Use the chest as momentum here. Ouch. Go on, you got this, part two. Oh, oh. oh. No, I gotta go you in the rings. Ah, uh -huh. No, 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 hold on. You gotta go in the rings. You gotta go in the rings. Right, come on, you got this. Hold on, come hold on. on. I'm gonna go in the ring. Oh my gosh. Okay. There we go. Oh. 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 Oh my gosh. Where am I? Oh my gosh. How'd you do that? <laughs> Oh my gosh. Okay, well, oh welcome gosh. to the laser part. Oh my um, gosh. How did, I, how did I survive all those lasers? That's a great question, but yeah. All right, well, you got to find your way out of this, so good luck. Uh, uh thanks, Koi. I am pretty terrified well, right well, now. Well, 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 wait, what? Wait, do you think it? Wait, come, come, come over here. What? It's just a hole in the ground. What do you mean? Oh, uh, uh, oh okay then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway. Um, Anyways. Uh, okay. Catch up with this laser. Oh, my gosh. Oh, man. Oh, crap. This place is crazy. I'm not going to lie. Okay, okay. I just got to jump this. Oh, uh, my gosh. Oh, man. This is nerve-wracking, dude. I? Wait, did you just... Okay, then. Okay, I'm going to crash right under this laser. Oh, my God. gosh. Oh, my gosh. That's so oh, close. I feel like I'm in Mission Impossible. Oh. Oh, my and gosh. And you made it. All right, Shiny. Welcome to this maze. Let's see if you can complete this. Well, this maze is really cool looking. I, I like the colors, but I think orange would have fit this theme a little bit better. Eh, definitely not. But all right, let's see where to go first. Wait, what's this chest right here? A book and coil? Oh, oh no, well, don't tell see. me this is another Kratos situation. Nah. Subscribe if you think Shiny can complete the maze? Subscribe. Hey, you know what? I definitely think you guys should subscribe. And on top of that, are you guys on Team Koi or Team Shiny? Let me know in the comment section down below. Come on, guys. Koi is better than Shiny. Definitely not. You guys should definitely go for shiny. Uh, anyways, Koi. What? This maze is crazy. Where do I go? It's a good question, shiny. You gotta find out for yourself. Oh my gosh, this maze is really difficult. I'm not gonna lie. Where do I go from here? Oh, speaking oh. of that, I found it. Let's go. You did it. Oh, oh my nice. Gosh. Oh my what is gosh. Happening? You good? Okay, do not do that to me again. I do not like the feeling of drowning. Oh man. Well, what's in this chest? Oh my gosh, what is in this chest? Oh no. A full set of iron armor? I already know there's gonna be some sort of battle, isn't there? Oh, I'm gonna put this chest plate on. Hopefully he doesn't see the elytra. I'm gonna try and use the elytra to my advantage here. Okay. Koi, what type of mobs are you gonna place down? Oh, well, time to find out for yourself. Oh, I finally got one. Oh, I got another one? Wait, this oh, is doing a lot of damage. Last one. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Why is this dude doing okay, come a lot on, come of on, damage? Come on, you got it, you got it, you got it. Why is he not weak yet? Oh gosh, oh come on, God. you got this. Come on. Oh. Come on, he's gotta be weak by now. He's gotta be weak. I'm at one heart, I'm at one heart. <laughs> oh gosh. Hi, Chidi. Let's go! Hey, you did it! Oh, Not bad, was, Shiny. Thank you. That was really difficult. Oh, man. All right. Well, since you completed that, you get to move to the next part of the maze. All right. All right. So you oh. get some boats. Wait, this actually looks really fun. All right. Three, two, one, go! Go, go, go! Peace out, Shiny! Wait, I'm flying Whoa. past you! What do you mean I'm flying past you? I'm right in front of you, bro! I'm gonna do a shortcut! Oh. No, what do you mean a shortcut? Oh! oh my what gosh. the crap? I just did a shortcut! Oh! Come on, come on, oh, come on. Dude, that's fight. <laughs> no! On. Yes, I think I won! Dang it! Wow, that was a really intense boat race! Well then. Was that your whole build? Yeah. Oh my gosh. I have arrows in my arms and chest, my neck. Dude, that Dang. was a crazy, that was just a crazy experience. That was a good build though, <laughs> Koi. I'm really impressed with that. Thank you. I, I still think my build is going to shock you. That is not true. Well, let's see it. Follow me, Koi. All right, I'm putting my head down. All right, come over here in three, two, one, and let's, let's go. see it. What? Isn't it good? What? Your Tom reaches the clouds, literally. What? And you said I was cheating on my bill? What? what? Like, this is actually impossible. This literally almost reaches sky limit, I'm pretty sure. I know. It's actually crazy. I'm just really good at building. I've been practicing a lot lately, Koi. But yeah, follow me up yeah. here. This is an insane experience. I've been burned with lava. There's on, a diamond block that... Oh, yeah. I'm going to get... that. What the <laughs> crap? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. All right. You're going to have to make the diagonal jump, I think. Okay. Three, two, one. Yeah. Yay, oh my gosh. Yes. Go. I'm the best. I'm the best. I'm the best. I'm the best. All right. Oh my god. Yeah, days. this next dropper is really intense. I got this. Oh! You got this coin? Come on! Ah! 
What? I did it! And if you land on these blocks, oh, you would have died of fall damage. You want me to get hurt from fall damage? Yeah, I wanted you to fall from my trap. Uh, whatever, Koi. Follow me. Well, I see there's a chest right here. Let's see. Oh, well, full diamond and some steak. You know, I'll take it. Yeah, Shouldn't man. be anything too bad behind this pressure plate. And oh my god! That was that was your entire build? That was easy, shiny. I definitely won this challenge. Oh, Koi, why do you think you got the diamond armor? We're only at the beginning. Oh, man. Uh, Koi, it's time for you to find the real entrance. Good luck. Oh my gosh, what? Here's a trivia room. How many planets are there? Okay, so we have 8 and 11. Um, let's see. Uh, I hope so you get this one right. I learned this one in first grade. Learned this one in first grade. Pretty sure I learned this one in eighth. Um, what? let's see. We got... I'm uh, surprised we got... you even went to school. You're a dog. But anyways, yeah. it's gotta be. It's gotta be one of these. Dang, you went to school? I never went to school because I'm a dog. But anyways, let's see. How what? many planets are there? I can look up. Well, you did go to school, so I'll believe your answer. Let's go with eight. Let's see. Oh, did yeah. I survive? Yeah, you're good. They were just fake pressure oh. plates to scare you a little bit. So what? what is my favorite number? Seven? Or 12,314. All right, cool. You're going to have to do a little bit of parkour into whichever one you think is right. So good luck and don't step well, on the pressure plates on the one side. I heard that a lot of people's favorite number is seven. So I'm going to go in here. All right, let's see the pressure plate. One. Oh, oh, you completely got the wrong answer. My favorite number was neither of them. Actually, my favorite number is five starting today. All right, uh, five. Starting today, yeah. Yep, number five is my favorite number. And wait, where did Betty go? Oh, no, I'm going to have to make all the Bettys again. All right, Clay, are you ready? I'm about to start spawning him down here. Since all they right. for some reason disappeared. I guess they ran away somehow, but hey, good luck. Oh, man. All right, let's see if I can just hit them from down here. No, I can't. Okay, maybe I'm just going to have to... Here we go. I'm missing it. have to fight it. Let's, Let's go. go. Oh, oh my gosh. There's so much red. My days, I can barely see anything. It's all red. Oh my ah. gosh. Come on, Koi. You're the two last hearts. one. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. And well, Koi, you may be wondering, how do you get out of this giant box? And well, yeah. well you can just follow me right up here. Oh, okay. Whoa. Wow. What is this? Oh, what is this? Oh, water bucket? Oh, always gotta yep. love water buckets, am I right? And All well, right. we got what? a water bucket out of here, Koi. Good luck. We got a water bucket out of here. Out. Why are you hitting hey, me? Oh, my God. Not again. Oh, my what? gosh. You actually did it. Yeah, because this is the second time. I have muscle memory from that, Shiny. You know, I'll give your build pretty massive. It literally reaches the sky limit. So, you know, I'll, I'll give it a eh, 7 out of 10. What? All right. You know what? I'm giving you. A, a zero out of ten. What? Why? Because I'm not going to lie to you. I may or may not have sneaked over. And you, there's just no way you built that. What? The sneaked over? What'd you see? I just... Oh, you thought I was cheating? Well, Koi, I'm not going to lie. I just don't think you could build that. So I think you're cheating. That's why I'm giving it a zero out of ten. Oh, me? Uh, oh, says the person who built this, what, a hundred plus block build in 25 minutes? Yeah, I might have been cheating. Also, well, you, but you, you might you also. Whoa! Cheating. So were you cheating? Yeah. Oh, you were. Oh, come on. Well, Shiny, I I was cheating too. I knew it. Well, yeah, ow. Well, we were both cheating. So I guess do we both lose? Uh, I guess at the end of the day, I'm still the winner, baby. What? Well, how? Let me know in the comments who you think is the real winner of this challenge. That the comments will be the ones who the comments are gonna be the ones to debate this. And honestly, I think the slime shows. Oh. Wow, Koi, I've never seen you admit to cheating before, but. Hey, uh, like I said at the start of the video, you're really mature lately, man. Yeah, man, you know, I've grown as a person recently. Well, I think that's a huge W. Anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video, please make sure to leave a like and check out the other videos on screen now. Subscribe. Bye-bye.